Ah, welcome to this video. Bit of a late start against Fish Puppy. Let's see. Um, Queen Scambit? No. Queen Pawn? Let's see. Bishop H4. There is a funny move here. Queen D6. <laughs> the idea is Queen B4. And after that move, I have a funny move. Queen H6. I know this looks really strange, but it is quite good. The point is that um, I have g5 now. And um, yeah, <laughs> he must he must play he must play bishop g3. And uh, yeah, let's let's we will see this. He um, has no way to avoid uh, material losses now. Knight e4, I take on e4, and it's a double threat against the bishop and the knight. And I'm winning a piece then. It's quite funny. He must play bishop g3, there is no other move. e3 is a mistake, he must play queen c1, if I'm not mistaken. Bishop g3 takes, f takes, this is uh, important, g4. And this wins the e3 pawn. Yeah, there's really no move. Yeah, you can try to make a piece sack out of it, but I don't really think I don't really see a way to make it work. Knight e4, d4, bishop g5, queen g6. Yeah, and uh, it's again a piece. Maybe he's trying to get this um, to work. Nope. Yeah, I know it's really funny. If you've never seen that, <laughs> it's white. It can it can completely irritate you, but it's uh, it's really a good line. I mean, Queen C one is just leading to approximate equality. Check. Okay. Yeah. The problem is this is not not just um, the loss of a pawn. It's um, also the Queen on E three, which is completely paralyzing White's position. How do you get your pieces out? It's not uh, not so clear. <laughs> Good knight on e2, the bishop on f1, he's pinned. Um, okay, just just going for long castles. Yeah, queen b3 is not playable. There's queen d2, bishop b3, checkmate. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but I can take uh, probably this one. Hmm. Let's think for a moment. Do I have a better move here? Ah, come on, e5 is strong. I mean, it just opens up the center. If he takes, the bishop takes, and this, the bishop on e3 is almost as <laughs> as um, problematic as the queen. And now I'm threatening to take on d4 to open up the center. Yeah, that's a disaster. You cannot take e5, as c5 hangs. So now just rook e8, yeah. Tending to take. Yeah. 
yeah i guess knight takes with knight d3 should be should be quite good mm, just knight c4 probably attacking b2 he, he cannot really defend the pawn or, or to d3 mm, both both looking good. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> F2, B2. It's a bit much. Okay, we can also uh, take here, yeah. Or F2. Yeah, come on, it's a rook. Huh? A, rook a rook is a rook. And take d4 first. White resigns. Yeah, they're just an opening disaster. But it can it can happen so easily here. The good thing about this this idea with queen d6 is it's um, it's not risking anything and uh, sometimes you get this kind of kind of funny quick wins. Um this is still okay. Queen here. And now we must play queen c1 and this is this is fine no problem for white here um, it's questionable what uh, black should do i cannot um, i cannot play g5 now i mean i can but it's um, it's not uh, not so convincing this yeah bishop takes i can, can do that but it's not clear that it's and now g5 hangs Knight moves somewhere and then I take d4. I can do that. It's that's that's a bit crazy. Or I can just take and get Check. into this kind of position. Which is about equal. And uh, e3 is, is losing really, and it's such a harmless looking move because of g5 and uh, no no way to save to save white now. Black just wins a piece here. Or the the dreadful position in the in Check. the game where he is completely paralyzed pawn down and the queen dominates the position yeah this is a useful a useful um, idea to remember against this type of bishop g5 if you play the queen's gambit or d4 d5 structure then this might be might be useful to know it's not um it's not um, like an, an leading to an advantage, but you can uh, sometimes score easy points with it and you don't risk much. Okay, thanks for watching.